everybody, welcome to this Hoffman's group. Today we're going to review the four syllable types that we've learned so far. We've learned about closed syllables. When the door is sh shut, it's called a closed syllable and it ends with a consonant sound, as in at, bet, hit, got, son. Open syllables is when the last sound in the syllable before the break ends in a long vowel sound. A, B, hi, go, and the mu as in music. Next, we're looking at our magic E syllables where magic E hops over the consonant and makes the vowel say its name. Make, these, bike, pole, and June. And we're introducing consonant LE syllables. This is when it's a syllable by itself and you have a consonant sound followed by the letters LE that make the sound UL, as in bull, cool, dull, full, gull, cool, pull, stull, tull, and zul. We're going to practice some of these syllable types. And what I have are some word cards. If you're at home, you can write them on a piece of paper or a, write, or a dry erase board, or you can put them on your own word cards. Um, we're going to chop up these big words and put them into manageable parts that we can sound out. So, remember, we start with vowels, blends, consonants, split. But before I go to there, I'm going to look and see if I notice anything about the ending of this word. And I already see that the word ends in a consonant LE and that says ZUL. Now I'm going to go mark my first two vowels, the two letter E's. I'm going to draw a bridge between those vowels and label the consonants. And when I look, I need to see where to split my word. Now normally, we draw this line to split, but today, I wanted to show you that syllables are parts of words, and I'm gonna do that by breaking up the word. So normally we just draw a line. Today I'm gonna get out my scissors and cut this word between the two consonants, and this syllable says, M, and it is a closed syllable, so I'm going to put it in the closed category. And we would mark it with a CL for closed. So that's M, it's a closed syllable. Now, we still have our word that we're not quite ready to break up, but we know that the consonant LE is its own syllable, so we're going to cut our word right before it. And now, when we look at the middle syllable, we see it ends in a consonant Z. So this is bez, and it's a closed syllable as well. And our last syllable is we label that as a C plus LE, consonant plus LE. So the word, if I were to take, a, if we have M, bez, zul, and if we put it back together, the word is embezzle. So let's separate our syllable types. M and bez are both closed, and zul is a constant LE syllable. Let's do another word. And this one is kind of a long word. So first, vowels, bridge, consonant E, but before, when I look at this consonant, this vowel at the end, I see a consonant L, I see pull. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to know, since it's a syllable by itself, I can separate the pull. Now we have the next thing to do. We'll go back to our vowels, bridge, consonant split. So start with your first vowels. We have the O as a vowel and the A as a vowel. Draw the bridge. Now, we can only have two consonants on the bridge. So we need to see if we can scoop some of these consonants together. The N sound I can't scoop, but the st I can scoop. 
into one sound because we blend it together. St. So now I know we split the word between the two consonant sounds. And if the syllable ends in a consonant, it is closed. So we read this with a short vowel sound, con. So we're still working with this one word. We have con and we have pull. Let's go back to the middle of the word now. If I'm looking, my next vowel is that a. Ah, and then I have the vowel i. And I need to know if it says it or I. So let's see, what can we do here? We have an N and a T, those are both consonants, so we're gonna label them. We're not gonna scoop them together, we're gonna separate it. And we have Stan, because we split between two consonants. V, C, C, V, split between it. So we have Stan, Con is closed, and Stan ends in a consonant, so it's closed. And because it's closed, the vowel is short, and it says a. Ah. So that says st, an. We have con, stan, on my first two syllables. And I have pull. What about this piece? Let's look at it. There's another vowel in it, isn't there? We need to label that vowel. And when we label that vowel, we're going to draw the bridge, and we have a consonant. And remember, when we have V, C, V, we have to decide where to split. Should we split it after 10? Or should we split it after T, I, and make it say tie? With this word, we split it after 10, making it closed. So when we cut it, we close it. It ends in a consonant. It's a closed syllable. Now we have our consonant LE, but we have one little piece of this word left. And if you look, it's the letter O. And because it ends in a vowel, it has to be open. And if it's open, that's a long O. So let's put our word back together and sound it out one chunk at a time. We have con, stan, ten, o, pull. Constantinople. And it begins with a capital C, letting me know it's a proper noun. So it's a name, and Constantinople is the name of the city. So let's sort these syllables. We have con is closed, stan is closed, ten is closed, o, the syllable o is open, and pull is one of my consonant LE words. All right, here we go. Let's look at another one of our words. We're going to do, you can copy the letters onto your paper or you can do them on a whiteboard. So now let's stop and let's look first. Vowels, bridge, consonant split. We mark our first two vowels, but right away we see we have a vowel with a consonant and a magic E. So we know our final syllable is a magic E syllable. We're not gonna label that E because it's silent. And remember, every syllable has to have a talking vowel. And this E is not talking, it's silent, so I'm not gonna label it. I'm gonna label the V here for these two vowels. Now I know this is a long vowel because the magic is pointed, so I already know that's gonna be a long I. So let's draw that bridge now, label our consonants. We have a vowel consonant, consonant vowel, V, C, C, V. We split between the two consonants and we have the last sound is a consonant when we break up the word. So it's closed, making that short E. So let's sound out the syllable. It says B, ed, bed. And looking at our second syllable, we only have one talking vowel, so we know we only have one syllable here, and it ends in a magic E, so it's time, bed, time. So bed, 
is a closed syllable, time, I'm putting under the magic E. But if I put it back together again, I have the word bedtime with two syllables. Another way you can tell your syllables is if you put your hand under your jaw, say bed time. How many times did your hand feel your jaw move? Two. You can feel your syllables because vowels, our talking vowels, mean we have to move our jaw to say them. Whether they're long or short, if it's a talking vowel, our jaw drops every time we say it. All right, let's do another one. And look, this word has a very, very similar syllables. I'm gonna move these up a little bit to make us some room. But look at these. If you look, hmm, what do we notice? We see the consonant LE right away. We'll label our consonant plus LE. And I can even go ahead because we cut after the consonant LE. All right, now look at our word. I'll zoom in on it so you can see a little bit. Look at our word. And when you look at our word right here, we're going to do vowels, bridge, consonant, split. So mark your vowel and then draw your bridge. You have two consonants. So we cut it between the two consonants. And this is ends in a consonant, so it's a closed syllable. That means the vowel is the short e, and it is bed. And it matches our other bed over here. Now, we have a still one more syllable. Because look, when we cut it, it cut one, two, three syllables right here. One, two, three syllables in the word. It started off here, We've cut it, we're down, we have three. So let's look at that middle syllable. What kind of syllable is it? Well, if we look, the last letter G is a consonant. So when the syllable ends in a consonant, it's closed. So let's sound it out, because that's gonna be a short A. So now we have bed, rag, goal. Bed raggle. And when we put it in our syllable chart, and look, we have two beds. We have bed, we have raggle, and we have a goal syllable. And those are our syllables that we've done today. I'm gonna leave you with a practice word. And I would like for you to take these two words and put them in the chat for your teacher. So you can copy them if you would please copy the two words. And if you could tell your teacher how many syllables are in each word and whether or not they are in open, closed, magic E, or consonant LE. So we're gonna do these two words. And if you'll write the letters down and do it and type your letter to your teacher. Thanks guys for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you soon.